I will note that you get points for CVC, which starts on Tuesday. So wait for that to actually start before pulling. This is a good note right here. Could this be bait? What are the chances this is a bait before a soul shard Freya deck of fate? Could they be so cruel? And this, yes, it, it um, you know, it's a good chance that this is something that they implement so that the community depletes their resources prior to the deck of fate, the guaranteed for Freya, which a lot of people are speculating it's going to be um, half souls, half shard pulls to get the points for the guaranteed Freya. Could they be so cruel? Yes, but don't take it personally. It's just good old business. There is an awakening boost, a, what is it, a 2x? Uh, doubling, yeah, 2x to receive a 5 and a 6 star perfect souls, which are absolutely magnificent and huge for your character, for specific characters. Um, like, I have a 5 star soul in Catacomb Counselor, Catacomb Counselor but that's not going to do anything. But yeah, it might be, but if the deck of... Uh, if the deck event is a souls event, then I won't have enough to do it anyway, so may as well pull on a 2x. It could be souls and shards both together. I might have enough for her. True. Uh, small stones are hilariously bad for points. They're uncommon general uh, rarity on path deck, but potential on a 2x is amazing. That's true. He's saying that um, during this 2x event, these aren't worth a lot of points in the deck of fate. Now, um, you know, people might be arguing, oh, you know, it's worth something. It could help. You're right. It could. But also keep in mind that the blessings that you get for these champions are huge. Now, granted, I've seen people pull thousands of these and barely get anything good. So, you know, take take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. In fact, you know, anytime you see a content creator say anything or talk about anything, always take it with a grain of salt. Right. But he's got a good point. It's something to consider because the potential is amazing versus the points that you get for a deck of fate. But I mean, it kind of just depends on what you want, right? If you really want Freya for some reason, uh, because she could be really good for your account if you're mid to late game or even earlier, um, that's something that you might want to consider. It's like 100 points a stone, 1,000 points per card. Yes, I could easily get 10 cards from small stones unless I'm wrong. That's the path point breakdown for stones. I'm not sure about the deck. The path would be around 70 to 90k points to finish. You're not getting a lot from small stones. If she is just souls, I will cry. I too am suspicious. Awakening boost and soul chase tournament. Hmm. I smell a soul aspect to the deck of fate. Or possibly something to do with a soul for Thor after the fusion. Thank you. I'm not crazy or have trust issues. Yeah, this is a good point. Because something could be happening for uh, Thor after that. We don't know. And... Again, if you're new here, we, we talk a lot about this in speculation. Uh, the community here always leaves comments on my videos talking about Polarium loves to purposely leave us blind and in the dark and guessing so that we can't make informed decisions. That's also why you're not going to find probably ever a mercy counter for your account. If you're wondering like, oh, I wish they would put a mercy counter for uh, shards so that I, I know okay how, how much how far into mercy am I with my, my primals or my sacreds or my ancients like where am I at they purposely don't give you that information and make it readily available for you easily so that you don't make informed decisions because the less informed you are slash quote unquote in parentheses asterisk the dumber you are the better it is for their wallets in fact in any big organization community government anybody at the top doesn't want the people at the bottom being smart because the moment people get knowledge information is power the less power that the people at the top have now that's just taking it way to the, to the wayside all the way um out of context from here but let's bring it back here maybe i would rather open during a 2x if you uh, if you really need good souls for champions i have personally been waiting for a six star for rotos like I've been waiting to do this guide on Rodos for a really long time, and I really, really, really want a six star for Rodos. And I've been waiting here, checking out the Soul Altar of Souls, but he's not showing up here. And I feel like it's been months. But anyway, um, they usually follow up with these events, in which case it's very RNG. You're going to, uh, what you end up with pulling your mortals. That's true. If Thor's Soul will be a path instead of a Titan event, and the scoring will be for soul stones, then in the grand scheme of things, unless you have a lot of mortals, and what is a lot? In your opinion, what is a lot of mortals? 
Right now, I'm like 70. I have, a, I have about 70. I could probably sell some coins and get like 100. But I don't think that's a lot, right? Because you can blow through 100 soul stones very easily. I don't know what that would be, but I agree. In, this, in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to make much of a difference how the point scoring usually is in these events. Eternals and Immortals are much more preferred to be saved for these paths, 100%. They often give you the better souls, higher chances to get better better souls, but for specific events like this, like with Freya, the Eternals and the Immortals give thousands of points. Personally, still debating if I should pull or not. 2Xs always happen. You can never guarantee something good for them anyway during events like these. I've seen people open hundreds of Mortals during a 2X and still get nothing. True. I'm leaning towards saving. And I won't need the mortals for Thor, Soul, or Freya, and have, um, yeah, I, anyway, uh, it's always bait, Catherine, Catherine Brooks, Brooks says. And this is a good point, right? FOMO is very common within Polarium and, and their scheduling and, and planning. Uh, another thing that if you're not aware of, you should be aware of. 2Xs always happen, right? Summit events always happen. Progressive chances always happen. And this... Another thing to consider, I'm not telling you what to do, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, but you know, I'm just thinking out loud. I think that if you really want Freya, you might want to just go for the guaranteed and save all your soul stones for Freya because these always happen, but a guaranteed Freya may not ever happen again. I'm pretty sure it's never gonna happen again. I don't think I've ever seen a guaranteed champion show up again, but you know, take that with a grain of salt. Honestly, if the deck of fate was for Odin, I would be cautious, but Freya doesn't excite me enough to care if it's bait or not. If I can't get her, I can't get her. I understand this point. Like, I did a collab with HDub, and uh, we tested out Freya together, and I, <laughs> I was not too impressed. And it made me realize that, hey, I don't really want Freya. So I was planning to initially go for Freya and pull for the guaranteed, but I don't want her if i get her she's gonna go straight to the vault she doesn't do anything for me now i'm not saying she's a bad champion because my perspective is different i am more than cognizant that for a lot of people especially if you're beginning to late game and you know you, you, there's some areas that you could use some help on she's gonna do wonders for you that's fair i got extremely lucky and got odin's wow good look wow jesus christ good job that's a yeah um I also tested out Odin, and I don't really want him either, so, you know. But it's still cool to have all four for a meme arena defense. Having the the Asgardians in one team is pretty cool. I also wanted to try the Asgardians out in, in Hydra, like all of them together. Ash is probably going to do that. Um, I'll be going for Freya for sure. In that case, should I skip this in your opinion? Should you skip the 2x? Goober says, yes, I would skip the 2x. There's always going to be more 2x awakening boosts in the future. The deck of fate doesn't require, so oh, in the event, in the future, in the event that the deck of fate doesn't require soul stones, tournament itself isn't worth, uh, isn't worth risking the deck of fates, I think. That's true. When minor souls are part of the deck, 45 of them is equivalent to one eternal. So even if it is, I think you're okay to pull those. You might need to make a decision on your immortal soul stones though. But if you have 130, they add up. True. If you have 130 of the small stones, they do add up. I guess worst case scenario, you're wrong about it being bait, and then you have to wait four to six more weeks to pull. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, that's my thought. I'm wrong, and I'll have 200 for the next event. That's true, right? You just keep saving, and boom, you have 200 small stone stones for the next one. Soul pulling events are typically very far apart. It seems like bait unlikely. It being bait seems unlikely. I will note that you get points for CVC, which starts on Tuesday. So wait for that to actually start before pulling. This is a good note right here. That's a really good point. If you're pull, if you're uh, pulling, pull on CVC. In fact, I should probably edit this and move this to the front. No need to ask. Assume everything is bait in the game. You'll get, you'll be right 95% of the time. Fuck yeah, bro. Hey, this guy's in my clan. Unless there is a stated tandem event, it's always a bait. I'm ignoring any event during Asgard that doesn't go for champions. If there won't be an event for champs with soul stones, then I have much more for the next 2x after Asgard. I'd say it's a two, it's a win-win. This is the way. What are you worried it's bait for? It could be right before a soul chase event, I suppose, but in the grand scheme of things, it's probably better to go for the 2x at the huge soul stones than to win a soul chase event. But it's not. We're, she's not talking about the Soul Chase event tournament. She's talking about the deck of the deck of fate. Yeah. 
So uh, I'm gonna wait for Boozer's video on this event. I would definitely wait for Boozer. Don't watch me, watch Boozer. He's more so well informed than I am and way deeper in. Uh, if you pull, wait for CVC. Thanks for the CVC reminder. I'm holding on to everything until I have a five-star soul for Thor doing minimum for fragments. It's peaceful time. The same with events and tournaments will come back later. Personally, I feel this. Like the five-star soul for Thor is going to be huge. I'm going to hoard a lot of resources as much as I can to, to wait until I get the Thor five-star soul. Now that I know for sure pretty much that I don't want to go for Freya and I don't really care about Odin and we've got Loki, um, which by the way, for Loki, don't forget guys that you have to be doing these things here, campaign, dungeon, faction wars, arena, clan boss, um, pretty much every day. I mean, you can miss a couple days, but it's only available for about three weeks here. And in order to get the five star soul, split soul, you're going to have to keep doing this. So make sure you're doing these and uh, getting your flags. You can only earn up to 75 a day. But this is going to be huge for you, especially if uh, I haven't used Loki for anything yet. But, um, you know, he's a free champion, a five star. You never know. And I've heard good things about him. So, you know, but where are you guys using Loki? Because I'm not using him. Clanmates excited for 2x and my immediate reaction was maybe bait. I probably have 60 smalls. Three mediums, so small for at least another medium. I'm holding just because some event for Freya and Thor souls might need the shards saved by soul stones. 100% uh, bait, don't pull. You think? Of course it's bait. The entire game is designed to bait you to do things when it's least your advantage. Yeah, yeah. That he said he's saying it right. It's bait. They design it so that you're drain you're draining your resources and you have to open up your wallet. Still a, still a bit new to the game. Could the souls contribute to the champion training event for Thor, or they don't? No, souls don't count for training. That's that's a good, honest question. Uh, let's see. It could be, but I will take bait and hope for some good souls. True. I've saved that for the first time. Didn't give good value. Um, should I save for something else? Pulling on pull everything on a 2x? Bait is the wrong question. The correct question is, is there likely to be something more efficient to do with these resources in the future? Sure, there might be a soul component to the deck of fate and or soul event, but the point value for souls trend uh, tend to be low. So even if it is bait, it's likely to be more efficient to use souls in the deck slash event rather than shards. This is doubly true since souls are more challenging account and bottlenecks for many account. Most players should be prioritizing max soul efficiency, not max point efficiency for souls. Yeah, that's a good point too. Literally everything in this game is bait. Bait unless you have infinite soul stones, then in that case, do whatever you want. Just don't come crying to Reddit. <laughs> Just don't come crying to Reddit when your 15% chance of a legendary and 4% chance of wishlist legendary means you opened all of your soul stones and don't get anything useful. This isn't for free to play, that's for sure. Brace yourself, it ain't good.